Hey game designers, uh, today I'm going to show you in this video how to make a shuriken. Um, so let's go ahead and, and uh, look at what a shuriken looks like. Okay, uh, Our shuriken looks like this. <clears throat> so a shuriken is like a, a type of ninja star. And um, before we make it, let's figure out what, let's make a plan on how we're going to design this. Now obviously there's a hole in the middle which I'll teach you how to do that. And then there's a ring on the outside, uh, on the inside. And then there's this, you know, kind of four triangular shape object um, along the outside. Now, even though you think that maybe you should make a triangle and then replicate it and then duplicate it and rotate it, it actually is much easier to start with a square. So if you look at from this corner to this corner to this corner to this corner, what you see here is a square. And if you have a square that has an extra edge in the middle, you can pull those edges out and make this uh, shuriken. Okay, so that's going to be our plan. In terms of Maya, um, in order to model the way that I, I model, <coughs> you're going to have some basic settings. One, you need to have a grid. This is a perspective view. And uh, if your grid doesn't show up, you can go here and go to grid options, and you can change the way your grid looks. So right now, mine's 100 by 5 by 5. Uh, I can make it 20. Obviously, I don't need to have that many grids. <coughs> and uh, when I uh, model, I actually like to use the perspective view with all of the four views, so the quad view. I can see the top, the front, the sides, and the perspectives. Um, another thing I like to do is turn on um, my snap to grids on, which is a button right here. This allows you to snap to different things. Um, I like to snap to grids when I'm first modeling. <coughs> and the last thing um, that you need to set up is that when I make primitives, I like to use interactive creation. So make sure that this option is checked so that you can use interactive creation. Okay. All right, so um, again, I'm going to use a cube as my starting point. So I'm going to use the primitive poly cube to start my shuriken. <coughs> and when you are making kind of like the shape of, of your model, um, I always recommend uh, a multiple of four because now you can grab a half of a half or a half of a half of a half <coughs> relatively easily. So um, I'm going to make my shuriken start out at eight units across and eight units down. And I'm doing this on the top view <coughs> because once you let go of your mouse, it's going to allow you to drag again to show you how tall you want your cube. <coughs> and again, um, I believe I'm going to basically uh, gonna <coughs> have two sides of the shuriken. So I'm going to make my shuriken two units uh, in height. So it's eight across the top, eight across the sides, and two units high. Now when you make a poly primitive, you can go over here to the channel box. So if you don't have channel box open, you can click it right here on the <coughs> right side of your screen. And you can actually uh, adjust your numbers. So if your object was not centered in the middle, you can center it uh, using the translates, rotate, scale. <coughs> If your thing wasn't exactly eight units and two units and eight units, you can uh, actually go in here and manually change it. Uh, now, <coughs> excuse me, uh, back to my strategy. My strategy is that I have a extra edge here that I can pull to make the four triangular pointy parts of the shuriken. And right now I don't have that edge. But if I wanna make that edge, it's really easy to do by adding extra subdivisions. So I'm going to change the subdivision of the width to 2, and I'm going to change the subdivision of the depth to 2. And now you actually see these edges now that I can now drag. So I'm going to use right click to change uh, what I'm selecting to edge mode. And now I can actually click on this one edge. Now W will be the hotkey for moving. And <coughs> I'm just going to move this edge. <coughs> Now, as I'm moving this edge, I want you to keep an eye on the lower left-hand corner. On the lower left-hand corner, right over here, okay, right here, when I'm moving it, you'll see a translate XYZ. And you can actually see the coordinate of your translation. 
and originally it starts at 4 and I'm going to use 12. I want to drag this out to about 12 units. <coughs> and I'm going to do the same thing with this edge. I'm going to drag it out 12 units. And that's just, you know, uh, figuring out that I want it to be three times uh, longer. And I'm going to use Alt and left click to rotate. I'm going to click on this edge and I'm going to move it 12, up to 12 units over here in a negative direction. <coughs> and I'm going to rotate and I'm going to click on here and I'm going to uh, drag it out 12 units in the negative uh, direction as well. Now you can see that there's some extra faces here. If you just simply select uh, select face, um, those extra faces would disappear. <coughs> All right, so now we have the basic shape of the shuriken from the top. Okay, and of course you can make it more pointier if you want to pull it out more or whatnot. Um, that it's up to you. But if you look at our 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 reference here of our reference picture, these right here are not edges; they're vertices. So basically where I have an edge right here, I want to have a vertice instead. But remember, an edge is made up of two vertices. So if I go to vertice <coughs> mode, you can see these two vertices. And all we need to do now is to make these two vertices one vertice. So we're going to use something called merge vertice. There's a button right here with the uh, two yellow squares, uh, well, I'm sorry, one orange square and one white square. If you click on this and you select and click on these two vertices and click on this button, it will merge the two vertices into one. You can look at my front view and see that what originally two vertices has now become one. <coughs> now I'm not going to click on these two and do the same thing. Now sometimes this distance threshold will show up in case um, it didn't merge the two vertices because the two vertices were too far apart. You can change that threshold so that it does merge your vertices. So let's say these two uh, vertices are five units apart and um, I clicked on merge and it didn't merge. All I did do is go in here and click on like five for example and that would guarantee that those two vertices will merge. <coughs> I'm gonna go back to the last corner, the last edge and I'm gonna merge these two vertices and now it comes to one fine point. And you can see from my front and my side view that now my shuriken actually looks sharp on all four sides. Now, looking at this edge right here, and if you look at my reference, that reference is not an edge, it is a vertice as well. So I can click on these two and do the same process. Merge vertice, <coughs> merge vertice, merge vertice, and merge vertice. Now if you ever mess up uh, on your vertices, you can go ahead and uh, control Z and that would undo it. Okay, And now I have the basic shape of my shuriken. Right? I have this kind of really sharp object now on all four sides. Um, the only thing I need to do now is go and look and see if uh, what else I need to do. So I need to drill a hole through my object and put a pipe through it. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a drill. So a drill is, you know, in this case, it's going to be the shape of a cylinder, right? It's a circular hole. So I'm going to make it like this using the interactive tool. And, and for now, I'm not going to be precise. I'm just going to make it, you know, roughly smaller than uh, these four corners of the shuriken. And I'm just going to pull it up. Now the height of the drill just needs to be make sure that it's, it's tall enough to cut through your object. But I'm actually going to use the channel box here to be more precise. So right now my radius is 3.6. Let's make it a nice, you know, easy number to remember. Let's go like 3.5. And a height of 4 is fine. And I'll leave the subdivisions the exact uh, same subdivisions. Now imagine this is going to be my drill. And I'm going to move my drill like basically right over here. And I'm going to drill through it. But before I do that, I'm actually going to make the pipe that's going to be going to fit in that hole. So I'm going to grab the pipe tool, which will be under Create Poly Primitive Pipe. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a pipe starting from the center, dragging outward. That's going to be about the same size as my, uh, my um, drill. And I'm going to pull up, 
to say how tall my thing is. And I'm going to make it two units tall because my shuriken is about two units tall. So I'm going to make my, uh, my pipe about two units tall. Now, the interactive build for pipe actually allows you to do one more click to control the thickness of your pipe. So I'm going to make it, I don't know, yay thick. And again, we can be more precise when we get into the uh, channel box. So my radius needs to match my drill. And my drill was a radius of 3.5. Um, the height, I'm going to leave it at four and the thickness, I'm going to make it a nice whole number. So I'm going to say one. So now I have the drill I'm going to use. I'm going to have the pipe. I'm going to stick into my shuriken. <coughs> All right. So to drill a hole, let's go ahead and move the drill where I'm going to eventually drill. I'm going to move my cylinder hole or drill on top of my shuriken right smack in the center. So at zero, zero in the X and Z positions. And then I'm going to move my drill down just to make sure I kind of center it. it. Doesn't have to be exact, but I want to center it right through here. Okay. And now I'm going to go and select the cube first, which is my shuriken, and then hold control and click on the drill. So now I have both these two highlighted in that order, the cube and then the cylinder using the control button. And now I'm going to go to a mesh tool and it's called Boolean. Boolean means uh, where they join, where they're different, where they intersect. And in this case, I want to keep the difference. So I'm going to, the first object is what I'm going to cut into. The second object is what I'm going to cut with. I'm going to click on this box <coughs> and they're going to give you a few options. So do you want to cut at the edges? Do you want to cut with normal? Or do you want to cut and uh, with the legacy Boolean algorithm? So I'm going to hit apply to see what it looks like when I cut with uh, this option. And as you can see, it cuts a hole, but it also deletes some of my edges, right? And this is not what I want. So I'm going to hit control Z and I'm going to actually use the legacy algorithm and hit apply. And now you actually see the hole cut inside of my shuriken. And now uh, I have this beautiful hole where I can now stick my pipe. <coughs> so I'm going to grab my pipe now and I'm going to use the move tool, which is hotkey W. And I'm going to go ahead and move it into the center of my shuriken. And I want to make sure that it's also centered through the side view and the front view. And it looks beautiful. So now, though, here's the problem. When I move, I move either my shuriken or the pipe. And I want this to be one object. So I need to merge these two uh, meshes together and form one object. So you just go back to your hierarchy window, go ahead and click on the pipe and the cube in any order. And I'm going to use a, a button called combine the selected polygon objects. So click on this. And now you can see that it formed something called P pipe two. And that's going to be our shuriken. And that's it. So now we have this uh, shuriken that we created and uh, using a couple cool tools, how to merge vertices, how to create subdivisions, um, where to find the information. Uh, so sometimes, example, if you can't see something, you can go and click on the actual objects themselves and you can actually change the values for the cubes and the cylinders and whatnot. Okay. All right. That does it for this video.